Love it. I mean, this versus that makes all the difference. It's, for me, for if, me. If, if I hadn't done, remember the stuff in the, the Hogan Cobra is on the rubber? Uh-huh. This is the thing that I never understood. My weight never got deep enough into my heel, and I'd get my Michael Jackson going on, and it then yeah. it's just luck. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Hey, this is Drew, and you're watching My Swing Evolution. Hi, my name is uh, Drew Rogers, and I'm from Austin, Texas. I've played uh, mostly my whole life, uh, only seriously for the past couple years. Uh, I played baseball my whole life, and uh, when that didn't work out, um, I went to law school and got into acting and stuff and just needed, needed kind of something athletic to, to fill that um, void. So, Well, you can play golf for the rest of your life, right? Oh, yeah. It was really one of those uh, rabbit hole YouTube kind of nights where I was, you know, this golf video, okay, that's kind of cool, that's kind of cool. Then I then I came across My Swing Evolution, and you know, um, it was really tied into Ben Hogan, so I knew it had to be good because you know Ben Hogan's the greatest striker that ever ever was. Sweet. So now let's talk about. Um, I wanted to start with all this stuff because this all directly relates to what we are talking about, why the club is rolling a little bit uh, aggressively through the impact zone. And so there's a point in the golf swing where the toe is gonna go over because the right arm is gonna go over the left, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's just no stopping that. So the, the thing that was really great about Hogan and I'm sure you've probably seen this video, is these guys like Trevino and Hogan, they had it really square all the way through impact, right? And then it wouldn't, it wouldn't turn over until the ball was long, long gone. And to me, the, the thing that's really crazy about it is the reason why they were able to have such a square club face because they had a ton of right arm bend coming into the ball, okay? So in other words, there's I've heard old pros talk about, oh, he's still got a lot of right arm to give. So what does that mean? It means that it's square, 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and yeah. then going way out there. If, you, if your lower body <laughs> stalls and the club starts to come in and you're gonna pass yeah. right through here then then you start to bring in variables that like we I want to build in the most fail safes that I can the most um, I you know I just want that club to be square and fairly shallow as much much as I can through the impact you know so these half swings that I talk about if I did you see my belt drill video okay so, if I can keep that right arm bend, and this is again, this is this is something that when the first time I tried this was in 2014, and I couldn't hit a golf ball at all. But if I have my right elbow here, and I don't, I can't, I can't do that. Right. I want, I want to. That's what my old instinct was. But I should be able to hit this with my right elbow tied to my side. After that, I got the uh, the Hogan Code uh, movie and then the book. I'm almost finished reading the book, and I watched the documentary. And I was like, I got to meet this guy. He, he he clearly knows what he's talking about, and I, this is my first lesson. And that's absolutely true. He knows exactly what he's talking about. Good, bro. Yeah, I like it's it. Looking good. I feel uh, the club coming in much more shallow, right? 
Yeah. I can see it from the divot. From the divot, yeah. It's, not, it's less, you know. Do you sometimes start to get deep? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I have a. Uh, I did this swing analysis of uh, Lee Trevino, uh -huh. and he's hitting a three wood off the fairway, uh -huh. and I mean, he's he's grazing the grass for like a freaking flick. Like you just see this, and it's. It's pretty crazy. Mo Norman was the same way. Yeah, he said, well, he's, he said begging strips, not pork chops. <laughs> what was he saying? <laughs> Keep an eye out for my driving lesson with Drew coming soon. All day, brother. You can take that to the tour right there. Yeah, I'll take that one. So let me show you the one last element that I think about. Hey, guys. So let's cut to the chase. Here's my old golf swing. And here's my new golf swing. Five years ago, I started a YouTube channel and I wanted to improve my golf swing by using Ben Hogan's five lessons. Well, guess what? It worked. And along the way, I picked up over 8 million views on YouTube and I learned how to shoot under par. Unbelievable, right? Well, the great news is I have a brand new instructional video called The Hogan Code. In this video, I break down everything that I learned over my long journey to learn to swing like Ben Hogan. And now you can learn the very same techniques that I used to become the golfer I always wanted to be.